So for this one, it's uh, a slightly different um, build to the kind of ships that uh, I've shown in previous videos. Um, <coughs> I was watching a couple of videos uh, a, a couple of days ago, and uh, they were about uh, building ships that are specifically designed to go after Thargoid scouts. And, um, yeah, they were interesting. Um, the, the, the one that really stood out for me was the one done by Down to Earth Astronomy, who I'm sure you're all familiar with. And he chose um, a Crite Mark II. Or was it a Phantom? No, it was Crite Mark II. Um, but uh, there are various other um, videos out there. I think one uses Alliance Chieftain. I think one uses Alliance Crusader. But what made it particularly interesting for me was uh, in uh, um, the comments uh, on this video. There were quite a few people who were saying that they use uh, a different ship. Don't use uh, the Krite. And among the ships that uh, they uh, said they were using were uh, the Python it's not much different to the Crite Mark II really but there you go uh, so yeah Python um, the Corvette uh, the Type 10 and the Anaconda and uh, it's uh, uh, it's one of those it's the uh, Anaconda that I have right here so I thought I would show um what I use as a uh, Thargoid Scout uh, attack ship. So, um, we'll start off then by, first of all, coming into here, and we'll start by getting out of the Anaconda and actually using the uh, ship that I do use, because, no, I don't use an Anaconda, or a Corvette, or a Type 10, or a Python, or a Krite. Uh, what I use, yeah, I use a vulture. So uh, let's jump in. And here we are. So what we will do then is, uh, I think uh, we'll have a jump cut and uh, we will see uh, said vulture in action uh, then uh, yeah we'll return to here and we'll go through the loadout of uh, my particular um, Thargoid Scout attack ship now one annoying thing about this system I'm in a therapy is that uh, the place is absolutely flooded with uh, carriers and yeah so you, you get uh, threat 4 signals and this one only has 30 seconds left 78,000 uh, light seconds away so we want ones that are much closer than this I only go to threat 4 and 3 because those are guaranteed to be scouts Fives, there's a good chance they'll be scouts, but there's also a chance that it will be a uh, uh, an interceptor. And uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not going after those because well, one thing, my weapons won't do a fucking thing against them. Now this area is usually pretty good for uh, threat force, but of course I'm recording a video this time, so I'm not finding a single fucking one. There we go, 50 light seconds away. I didn't even see how long it had. Oh, plenty of time. Sort it out. 
some of these threat fours are ridiculously easy. There's only going to be like four of them here. Some of them are a little bit tougher. You get seven of them. And that will include things like regenerators, inciters and berserkers. But uh, we'll see what we have. Um, so here's four. Here we go. Because I've got the, uh, I just realised I haven't sorted out the uh, sound. So if you can't hear me, I'll uh, sort out the audio once uh, I've dispatched this uh, signal. Uh, that's him down. Manufactured materials, including Xeno ones, so I don't need to uh, hang about and uh, pick them up. Anyway, let me get the audio sorted out. Alright, so normal. There we go. Right, now you shouldn't have uh, too much trouble hearing me. <coughs> I'll let you decide if that's a good thing or not. Right, let's uh, see what else uh, we have. So we're looking for some more threat fours or any threat threes if need be. Again, not seeing a lot here. Yeah, and these ones are all far too far away. Right, well it looks like I'm going to have to do a uh, jump cut then, and uh, we'll uh, see, uh, you know, what happens, uh, hopefully in a few minutes, and, uh, oh, here we go, oh, and I'm right on top of it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I came out of that uh, one with just 1% uh, damage to uh, the hull, because obviously uh, 
Thargoid scouts, their shots will pass through your shields, so you, you will take some damage. But yeah, I've only taken 1%. So let's see how we do with this one. So once again, it is only four of them. So it will just all be standard marauders, there won't be any uh, regenerators or inciters, anything like that. credits for taking out a scout, you only get 10,000 and that's regardless of what uh, variant it is but if you are uh, you know still trying to gain combat rank um, yeah you, you, your uh, rank uh, goes up pretty quickly as a result of taking out uh, Thargoid scouts so yeah, they're a great choice for uh, you know for doing that. In fact, they are the best choice if you want to try and get your uh, combat rank up. So that is when um, a uh, Thargoid scout uh, attack ship is particularly useful. And well, as you can see, this uh, yeah. Destroyed. This is doing just fine. Under attack. So I, I, I do find myself thinking, you know. I'm doing more than okay in a vulture when going up against uh, scouts. So, why are there players out there who say shit like, "Oh, the best ship for uh, you know um, going up against scouts is an anaconda"? Why the fuck do you need something like an anaconda? Three. We'll have some of them. Yeah, you know, if you're going to outfit an anaconda, um, I'm sure I've said this already. But yeah, if you're going to outfit an anaconda, you're a uh, class eight a um, power distributor. Costs more than this entire build. Which also means that if you fuck it up, your rebuy cost 981,000. Fuck all. So it doesn't matter one fucking bit if you are destroyed. But yeah, you know, I've gone. I've gone to two signal sources, and my damage so far is. Uh, well, I'm at 97% uh, uh, hull. Now, I know there are going to be people out there who will say, Oh, no, your build's wrong, you've got to do blah, 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 blah. Let's start off with the obvious one. Oh, uh, you don't need decontamination limpets. Um, well, okay. Uh, first of all, I don't want to take unnecessary um, module damage. And if I'm going to, uh, you know, deliberately overheat my ship in order to... Uh, get rid of any caustic damage I might get, I will take module damage. So I take 
decontamination limpets. And the other thing is, okay, yeah, from the space that uh, you know, I save by getting rid of the decontamination limpets and the cargo rack, yeah, I could improve my hull or my shields. Well, it would be the hull. I, I don't need to worry about the shields. It's the hull that uh, I would need to strengthen. Um, okay, yeah, that is true. But here we are. I'm uh, in the process of uh, attacking my 11th scout and uh, my hull is still at 96% I mean I really don't need to strengthen it too much it's already pretty good uh, that's in there, the last one now yeah, yes it certainly helps that so far they haven't fired any uh, caustic missiles but that is, of course, because I'm keeping my uh, heat levels relatively low. It wasn't working very well there. Hopefully it will uh, improve a bit here. Yeah, here we go. So if I keep my heat levels uh, nice and low, they don't have a thermal signature to lock onto, and they won't fire their uh, caustic missiles. And that's in down. So there we go, that's 12. Uh, Thargoid scouts destroyed. Uh, I've lost 4% hull. Shields have been barely touched. You know, it works. Sorry, 5, no. 6. Uh, here we go, another 4. Now what I'm hoping is I will encounter one of these threat force signals where several of them crop up. And that gives us a bit more of a workout. And yes, okay, I do take uh, more damage to the hull then. But it's still not a terrible amount. I mean, I frequently can do you know, sessions in this ship and I fly around and take out 50, 60, even more. You know, it's, it's more than capable of doing the job. I just do not get why some people will tell you that you need an Anaconda or a Corvette. You, you don't. And in fact, I would even go so far as to argue, you, you probably don't even need something like a Vulture. I'm pretty sure, in fact, I might even try it out sometime, but I'm pretty sure an Imperial Courier would do a great job as uh, an anti uh, Thargoid scout ship. Alright, let's sit down. Get a bit of distance from him, from that explosion. Under attack. 
So now you know I've taken caustic damage, you can keep an eye on my uh, damage levels. Currently still in the 90s, 91. That's him down. Target destroyed. Program Let's get the old Olympic drone uh, to work. Taking damage. Caustic substance neutralized. Right, so that neutralized. Will I get 1%? Uh, yeah, I will. There you go. So we're back into the 90s. There we go. So I've now destroyed 16. And I've taken just 10% damage. I uh, know I can go to the uh, um, nav beacon and get all of the, uh, you know, signal sources uh, checked out straight away. But of course, around here there are new signal sources coming along. This will be very easy, but fuck it, it's uh, another couple. Yeah, new signals come along so often. And there's such a glut of uh, signals, and, uh, I just think, oh fuck it, I'll just do it manually. So at a threat 3, there's normally one that is going to be either a regenerator or a berserker. Occasionally you'll get inciters, but it's usually regenerators or berserkers. So it's only two Marauders, so I haven't, I haven't got any of the uh, other variants. Now I'll make this a bit easier. <laughs> as if it can't get... <laughs> as if it can get much easier. I think if you were to make any changes to this then I think it would probably be to the power distributor because okay I'm doing fine for the most part but I would like it to well recharge a little faster there we go didn't lose any uh, whole hit points there immediately there was only two uh, scouts but there we go so we've taken out uh, 18 
be one with a seven. If you want, um, like, you know, high speed, high maneuverability, but you really must take a large ship or whatever, an Imperial Clipper would be a fantastic choice for this sort of one. need to do is slap on four beam lasers. Under attack. And there you go. It'll be total fucking overkill, but... Thing. If you're going to take uh, an Imperial ship, the Imperial Courier will be the one to take. I think that would do a fantastic job of this. Target destroyed. Right, last one. percent hull damage there so we're still at 89 and you may be thinking well if I was in a, a Corvette Anaconda Type 10 I wouldn't be at uh, 89 you know, I'd be on 100 or 99 yeah, it could well be how expensive do you really think it's gonna be to uh, repair the damage on this thing So we've taken out, how many now? 22. So I think this will be the last uh, last one we'll go to. Oh. 
those NPCs hasn't buggered off now, he has. So he hung around for a little while. We go. So, in very little time, with pretty much zero effort and only taking 13% damage, despite the fact that I did take uh, corrosive damage for a little while, I've destroyed 26 and can very easily carry on going and taking out another 26 not a threat 9 though <laughs> I did say that the last one that I did was going to be the last one but fuck it there's one there it's, right this is the last one so we'll, we'll bring it up to a nice round 30 
there we have an incoming caustic missile. So now we'll see how much caustic damage uh, will do because we've still got two more to take out. and the hole is still at 77%. So we have taken out 30 of the uh, little cunts. So, uh, well, let's head back to uh, the docking station. Let's see how much the repairs for that are going to cost. Place your bets now. Repairs are 1,643. If you were in your uh, Anaconda or Corvette and your hull was at 77%, it will cost you more than 1,000 whatever it was. ships uh, pretty much pristine when I'm uh, when I leave them because I don't take this on to the carrier this is always kept out here in uh, a therapy so there we go another uh, 30 Thargoid uh, scouts that have croaked it there you go so um, that's how effective this ship is but what is the loadout all about? Well, let's take a look. Well, there you go. So, um, yeah. The uh, Vulture. More than useful as a, uh, a Thargoid Scout attack ship. And, okay, right. I'm not, you know, one of these cunts like Commander Exidius. I'm not going to sit here and say that uh, if you use a ship that's different to my choice, then you're doing it wrong. That's something that that cunt will say, not me. But I do wonder, you know, these people who say, oh, best ship for taking out Thargoid Scouts, Anaconda, Corvette, Type 10. Why? Why do you need such an enormous ship to go after Thargoid scouts? They're, they're not difficult. They're not tough. Um, as this video has proven, I'm having absolutely no problems dispatching plenty of them 
in a ship that is well tiny compared to those you know those ones I mean, this entire ship costs less than the 8A uh, power distributor that an, an anaconda build you know would need so for the price of that one upgrade you've got this entire ship which as you've just seen is more than capable of dispatching scouts easily I dare say there will be some who say oh it doesn't dispatch them as fast <laughs> okay maybe it doesn't it still does a pretty fucking good job of it though so let's have a look then at uh, what I use I mean after seeing the video you probably got a pretty good idea but uh, we'll uh, you know we'll start off with like you know core internals there isn't going to be any big surprises here so um, with for the bulkheads I got military grade composites and uh, clicked on the wrong fucking thing and yeah I've uh, modified it heavy duty deep plating there's no point going for any other modding when it comes to uh, uh, Thargoid uh, ships because the damage that Thargoid ships deal in is always absolute so resistances are you know useless there isn't a resistance for absolute damage so don't bother with them so yeah heavy duty armor deep plating then you get the uh, the Achilles heel of the Vulture um, yeah, you absolutely need to, you know, grade 5 overcharge your power plant because it is only a class 4. It is very small. But with this build, I am able to have uh, the thermal spread uh, experimental on here. I don't really like having the uh, monstered experimental, but uh, on my other vulture, I I have to have it. So, yeah, uh, with this one, you know, I could actually have thermal spread. So, yeah, I was quite happy about that. No other surprises here. You know, thrusters, dirty drive tuning, drag drives, shock horror. Uh, train shift drive, not that it's important with this ship, but, yeah, I've got in increased uh, range with mass manager. Life support is reinforced the grade 4. Power distributor is uh, uh, weapon focused, and I've had to use yeah, flow control. There are a, a few areas where I had to do um, like power uh, saving. I guess if you put the um, monstered uh, experimental on your power plant, you can get away with you know fitting other stuff. But as you've seen in the video. Even though I've had to use uh, power saving uh, experimentals in several places, I'm not exactly suffering as a result. And then sensors are grade 5 lightweight. Utility mounts, no big surprises here. So I have a heatsink launcher which has had the uh, additional uh, ammo capacity. Got a Xeno scanner because without that, obviously, you are not going to see um, how much uh, of the hull remains on the scouts. So, yeah, that's essential. So, I have two uh, shield boosters. They are both uh, Grey 5 Heavy Duty and, again, with Flow Control uh, mod. So, you know, if you had the um, uh, Monster Experiment on your power plant, you could possibly use, you know, super capacitors on at least one of your shield boosters. Or, if you go to the optional uh, internals here, grade 5, uh, class 5A shield generator, not uh, prismatic. And I reinforce shields here with low draw experimental. Um, so, yeah, if you have the uh, uh, monstered power plant experimental you may be able to go with something like either high cap maybe uh, 
fast recharge but uh, with shields you're much better off if you have to do uh, power uh, saving put uh, the, the power saving thing on the uh, on the shields and use like you know some sort of boosting you know boosting experimental rather than a power saving one put those on your uh, shield boosters your shields will be stronger that way so um, yeah if, if it turns out you've only got power to uh, you know um, get away with not using uh, power saving on either shield generator or shield boosters but not both put it on the shield boosters and have your power saving on the uh, generator shields will be stronger then so yeah so class uh, 5a shield generator shield cell bank uh, that is specialized class 4 and again this has flow control cargo rack uh, so yeah so I take uh, 16 uh, limpets if there is a change I'm going to make to this ship it will be this but the problem is there's no class 3 slot so I either carry you know up to 16 um, you know limpets for decontamination or I carry 4 4 seems too little I mean yes 16 I think is far too many I don't need as many as that but I do think I need more than 4 I think the most I've used in any one session is seven, but on that one I, I destroyed about 65, 70 scouts. So, you know, it was a long old session. Um, so, yeah, the fact that, you know, if, it, if it's not going to be 16 capacity, it will only be four, I'm probably going to keep it like this. So anyway, uh, then we have class 2 uh, guardian shield reinforcement package because yeah the shields are good but we could do with a bit of a boost then we have guardian hull reinforcement package uh, to be honest the only reason that is there is because I couldn't be bothered to uh, mod a standard hull reinforcement package so I put that one on so I have got some caustic resistance but it's really not important um, so yeah if, if you put a regular hull reinforcement uh, package here and then modded that to you know reinforced with uh, deep plating you'd have better uh, hull uh, hit points than I have in this thing uh, next is uh, decontamination limpet controller so yeah it is only a class one but that's all I need uh, then we have a uh, modded hull reinforcement package which yeah, heavy duty deep plating uh, then I have a detailed surface scanner because why not? It's, it's more a uh, force of habit now. I think every single one of my ships has got uh, um, a detailed surface scanner on it. So, you know, I like to have them there. And then finally, the hard points. Uh, you know, well, you've already seen, yeah, class 3 uh, beam lasers, both gimbaled. Uh, you know, scouts don't use chaff, so you can certainly use uh, gimbaled ones. Efficient weapon, both uh, have, yeah, both have grade 5 efficient weapon with thermal vent uh, experimentals. Now again, you could, you know, use long range, but uh, firstly, uh, the scouts don't really go far enough away from you to warrant um, using long range. Uh, and secondly, uh, again, power usage, you know, you want to uh, watch out for that. I don't like having power usage over 100%. I know I can set power priorities and all that, but yeah, I don't really like doing that. So the net result then is that uh, shield health is 1,313. Resistances say they don't matter because you know, you're dealing with absolute damage. Armour health 1,142. Uh, there is 5% caustic resistance, but you know it's it's not that big a deal. Now, okay, yeah, if if you are you know one of these players who uses you know um, uh, an anaconda or a corvette or a Type 10 to go after scouts, then um, 
yeah, you'll probably say that those uh, that shield and uh, armor health, uh, they're both shit. But uh, yeah, the video has already shown you that uh, even if they are, they are still more than enough for going after scouts. And of course, the other thing is weapon choice. You don't need AX weapons to destroy scouts. Any weapon that you have will damage them. So I don't see the point of using weapons that uh, require ammunition to uh, take them out. Because you've got things like reload time. Obviously you've got things like, you know, limited ammo you know, to begin with. Um, so, you know, at some point you are going to run out of ammunition and you'll need to come back and restock or use materials to synthesize more. But why do either of those things? We can just fit a couple of beam lasers and just go on and on and on. Every um, build that I've seen um, for going after uh, Thargoid Scouts they all use AX multi cannons, and you know, again, I just do not see why. Beam lasers are doing the job fine. Maybe the AX multi cannons will destroy uh, scouts faster, but I'm destroying them fast enough for me. <laughs> I don't need to be able to destroy them any quicker. I'm, I think I'm doing a good enough job as it is. So, uh, yeah, so I personally think that, you know, okay, if you want to use a Krite Mark II or a Python, or if you really must, an Anaconda, a Corvette, or a Type 10, then yeah, go ahead, uh, you know, play the game your way. I'm not going to sit here and say uh, you're playing it wrong by using any of those ships, you know, that's for uh, Commander Exigius to do, but um yeah, I am doing more than fine taking out uh, Thargoid Scouts in a Vulture. Not an Anaconda, not a Corvette, a fucking Vulture. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> to me it seems like a fairly obvious choice really, but um, looking at the videos on YouTube it would appear not. So it seems that I have unintentionally, shall we say, uh, provided quite a uh, quite a contrast and um, a more than viable alternative to the usual uh, selections. Scouts aren't tough. I mean, they are quite fast and quite manoeuvrable, which is another reason why, again, this ship is a lot better than a Type 10 or an Anaconda. Yeah. We're not talking fast or manoeuvrable with either of those things. Um, but this is both. It's fast, it's manoeuvrable. <laughs> You've seen all the uh, the evidence, so, you know. So there we go. Um, Thargoid uh, Scout uh, attack build. Which in my case, uses a vulture. There you go. Wasn't that exciting? Right. <laughs> Now go away. <laughs>